People's Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of John versus Willette. Uh, you all have been together for five years and engaged for four years. Yeah. Uh, Miss John, why have you brought your fiance to court today? I brought him here today because I feel that he's cheating on me. Uh, he's extra friendly with people in the neighborhood. Mr. Cutler's extra friendly with our neighbor, so what does that mean? <laughs> Do I need to be worried? Do I need to be eyeballing something? Tell me what that means. He just goes out of his way to help them do stuff if, to their yard. If they're working on their car, he goes out of his way to help them do that. Just goes out of his way to help them. Okay. You believe it's beyond just friendly? Yeah, That's I That's what do. she's thinking. She's thinking that. You know, so he... it, I feel like it's all a cover-up for what she's doing, so... Yeah, but it ain't about me. Well, Mr. Willett, in terms of what you're doing, are you a friendly person? Of course, I'm always friendly. Do you go out of your way to help your neighbors? Of course I do. I, every day. I try to make everybody happy. Especially her. <laughs> you know? <laughs> All right. He's Mr. Rogers. He's that's, that's probably... <laughs> are you cheating? She can accuse me all day, but I'm not cheating. That's, the, that's what I want to tell her, but she don't believe me. There's too I, much I'm too, I'm stuff too faithful. going on. If I wanted, if I wanted to, to cheat on somebody, I would be single. There'd be no reason for me to even <laughs> be in a relationship. So you believe she's doing this to deflect about what she may be doing? It's a guilty conscience. That's what I'm thinking. Right. Okay, well, I mean, because he's a friendly person, that must be one of the things that attracted you to him. Yeah, it was one of the things, but the extra stuff and then, like, what he, he won't ever What's leave his cell phone stuff? alone. He takes it in the shower with him. He sleeps with it next to his head. My, if I ask phone. to look at it, he takes my it and gives it to me 15 minutes later. And, and the so I never why? get to touch it. Okay, so you all have been together for five years. Yes. You've been engaged for four years. What was the first sign that something went wrong? Um, it was probably about three months ago he started working, and he'll tell me he's working an overnight shift. It's just him and a guy working. When I pick him up in the morning, it's him and a female working. His excuse is a schedule change, but it's always something. But I'm always working. Okay, so... What can I do at work? <laughs> the nights that um, there's a female coworker, I'll text him. I don't get a text back. It's just if it's a male coworker, he'll text right back all night, back and forth. If it's a female... I barely get texted all night that's while he's so working. That's, okay, that's, so, is there something, something in your gut is telling just, you? Yeah. Making you say, huh. Are you not responsive when you have a female coworker? I'm, I'm responsive when I get a chance to. I'm, I'm, I'm working. I can't just pick up the phone whenever. What if I have a customer and she texts me at that time, but I'm helping out two, three different it's customers? It's just a How little convenient when back? it's a no girl, sense. he's okay. not texting back. Well, here's the thing. Mr. Willette, I'm gonna let you in on the secret, okay? <laughs> 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 Women detect patterns. Ah, he's they speaking them, truth. They detect them very quickly. And the pattern is when there's a female coworker, you aren't texting back as frequently as when there's a male coworker. You probably don't even know it. Yeah. Probably. Not. Women pick up on that. I'm telling you, if you don't get anything else from today, get that. Women pick up on patterns. <laughs> so. So, Mr. Uh, Color, you paying attention. I'm paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> Switch it up because yeah, you didn't, yeah. you didn't learn something. I figured something. it out now, yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, Miss John, we've got the failing to text. You got him as Mr. Friendly of the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. What else do you have? Do you got proof? There will be money missing out of our joint bank account, just like five or ten dollars here or there. And when I ask him where it went, he'll say he bought cigarettes or something to that he's nature. Smoking. But <laughs> he just bought cigarettes like an hour before that. Where do you think he's taking a woman? For five and ten dollars. On the dollar menu? Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> on the regular. Yeah. On the regular, not just here and there. But... I don't think necessarily he's taking them out, maybe letting them borrow money or, you know, grabbing them a drink or something. That's our money. We work hard for it, so it shouldn't be spent on no other female. Period. All right. It don't matter how much it is. All right. So, Mr. Willette, you think all of this is just her deflecting? Exactly what it is. I, I, feel, I have this gut feeling that just, just something in my gut is telling me it's a guilty conscience. That's the reason why she's trying to accuse me for something so she can cover up what she's trying to cover up with. So what do you think she's deflecting? I, I don't know. I'm, I, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, she's kind of extra close with my roommate. Like, and oh. extra close. They'd be gone for hours at a time. Like, literally hours at a time. I'm going to the store to get milk. They'd be gone for two hours. One day, they, they went out to get milk. Two hours goes by, three hours goes by, four hours, 
11 hours later, they come back. So you They had to go to wait. Jacksonville to go feed their mom's cat. <laughs> okay, 11 wait. hours so, it takes. So you think she's cheating with your roommate? I have a gut feeling. So, Cutler, we have her side, we have his side, now we need the roommate's side. Okay. All right. That roommate is here. Rob, would you escort her into the courtroom? Yes, yeah. Would you please state your name for the court? Stacy Herrera. All right. Ms. Herrera, now, how do you know Ms. John? Uh, my roommate. All right, and you're also roommates with Mr. Willette? Yes. How long have you all been living together? For, uh, between four to five months. All right, so what do you know about Ms. John's and Mr. Willette's relationship? Do you believe he's cheating? Uh, there's points I do. Okay, why do you believe that? He's out, um, he'll go somewhere and say he's going one place and then we'll run into him and he's like, oh, well, I'm just coming back from getting this and he's empty handed. So that makes you think that he is cheating. Yeah, I mean, it's secretive and it's just something that shouldn't be like, oh, well, his friend says this and then he says something it just, else. It just don't make no sense to me. I that makes no sense to me either. Mr. Willette, did this occur that you were going for a friend and didn't come back with the items? No, no. It didn't even go down like that. But they could be covering up for wherever you're really going. They don't That's really. what you're covering. You guys are covering up something for which y'all are doing, trying to blame me. She's obviously doing something with her. They're always together. They, for hours at a time, they're gone. What, what do I know? They're texting each other in the same room. So you believe these two are sexually involved? Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> wait. Okay. I wait. actually wait. found. You believe that your fiance and your roommate are it's involved with each other. Yes. Sexually. Why do you believe that? I, I found a pair of her panties on my bedroom floor. What are they doing on my bedroom floor? She don't... She does our laundry together. together. Okay. But hold you on, don't do on. your... your our laundries are separate. Okay, wait. Whose panties? Ms. Herrera's. You what, are they doing, what are they doing in my room? On my bedroom floor. If they got mixed up in the laundry, why are they on the floor and not in the laundry? Okay, so did he find a pair of your panties in, in the bedroom? He didn't. Okay, why? can you explain why? to me said, why yeah, your exactly. panties are in his why? room? She does laundry. Mm. Sometimes it'll get mixed up in the washer and the dryer. I mean, there's a total of three of us living there along with my two kids. It's an easy The laundry up. gets put everywhere. Well, Mr. Rare, really what is the nature of your, you all's relationship? We're friends. Are you more than friends? No. So basically... Miss John and Mr. Willette, this is a relationship completely devoid of trust. Is that a safe Pretty statement? Yeah. Yes. At this moment. Five-year relationship and no trust. Four years of engagement and no trust. <laughs> All right. Because we've had these allegations, the court has ordered a forensic analysis on both of your cell phones. And we have the results. At this time, the court will call cybersecurity expert, Mr. Gregory Evans. Uh, Ron, would you please escort Mr. Evans into the courtroom? Yes, Sean. Mr. Evans. Yes. How are you, Mr. Evans? I'm doing great yourselves. Good, uh, good to, to see, see you again. All right. Now, Mr. Evans. Yes. She believes that he you know, erases information from his phone. Right. And so, <laughs> with a forensic examination, you can recover deleted information, correct? I can recover deleted text messages, emails, um, pictures, videos. Anything that's stored on a person's phone can be recovered. So, you were given both the plaintiff's and the defendant's phone for analysis, correct? Yes, Your Honor. All right. What did you find? Well, I gotta put my glasses on for this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's start with the first one, what I found. It was this message here from Miss John. Okay, it says, I just want to be able to make you happy as your girlfriend, your wife, your best friend, and especially make you happy and satisfy you in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. right. You're telling him, I want to be the best woman to you that I can be. Yes. How does that make you feel? Great, that's what I need, that's what I want. <laughs> 
That's okay. what I, I, I got into this relationship for is to, you know what I'm saying? Make 100% of us together, okay. you know? And when you, you know, got this text message, lives, I'm sorry? When you got this text message, you smiled? Of course I did. Okay. Did you find anything else, Mr. Evans? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes, Your Honor, I'm sorry. This one is of Mr. Willette. I don't know if he has aspirations of being a model or get a sock contract. Well, okay. do tell. Mm. <laughs> Let me uh, explain this to the court. Uh, Mr. Willett, I'm seeing more of you than I ever wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and you seem to be... Hanging in a reclining position uh, with uh, no clothes on except for a sock. In a... But the sock is not on your foot. <laughs> okay? Size it, it, 8. You understand what it looks like? Oh, I know that picture. <laughs> oh! <laughs> All right, and... Who, who was this photo for? Who did no, they... No, she actually took it. So this was for you. <laughs> Adult play. Supposedly, for me. All right. Can you tell whether this was sent to any other women? I did check for that. I did not see it was sent to any other woman except for her. All right. Did you find any evidence that suggests either party might be cheating? Okay. Now, this is what I do have for you here, Your Honor. So this is a text message from Miss John to Mr. Willett. Correct. At 2, 19 a.m. And it says, I am your wife and I want you home. Where the blank are you now? So did he respond to this text message? He did not respond to her, but at the exact same time, he did respond to this young lady here. So at the exact same time, she's asking, where are you? I want you home. That's He's correct. texting another woman. That is correct. All right. And so he says... Dang, so we can chill tonight, me and you, yes or no? And she responds, where's Tina? Which is Miss John. That at Housey, I'm on your steps, is his response. Oh, you can chill for a minute, then I gotta go. And he responds, you and me alone, laugh out loud. Okay, were well, you at someone else's house wow. at 2.19 wow. in the morning? Yeah, yeah, I was. Okay, <laughs> another woman's house? Yes. Okay, what were you doing at another woman's house at 2.19 a.m.? Well, she had owed me some money, so I was trying to be... So you're trying to hang out at 2 o'clock in the morning? You're trying to hang out at 2 o'clock in the morning? Could have went to your homeboy's house. You didn't have to go to a female house. Oh, I Go tried. sit outside, go to a different room. That's Okay, thanks. So... We can chill tonight, me and you. That doesn't sound like any bill collect I've ever encountered. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but... Okay, okay. so, Mr. Willett, here's what I'm observing. All up until now, you've been smooth. <laughs> now that we're asking you the hard questions, you're fumbling all over yourself. So I'm gonna give you one more chance. Were you with another woman? Sexually, no. Okay. So how are you feeling about what he's telling you? Are you buying any of this? No, not at all. It, it's surprising, hurt, kind of a numb feeling. After all that we've discussed today, what do you want to say to your boyfriend or your fiance? That I want to start, I want him to start being more honest and I want to work things out and, you know, do whatever we have to do to move forward in our relationship. It's gonna, it's gonna be hard. What do you need him to do? I need him to come clean and let me know everything that he's done. Well, I have a question for you. He's accused you of being in a sexual relationship with your roommate. <laughs> have you been in a sexual relationship with Her, Mr. And, I, her and I have messed around, yeah. <laughs> but it hasn't been a relationship. It's, but it's yeah, not. That, proves, that proves everything right there. That's crazy. So you and Miss Herrera, your roommate, have been sexually involved? Yes. yes. How did that happen? Obviously, I was going through stuff with him and the lies, and we just kind of relied that on makes each it okay, other. Then? And it... Having drinks one night, it kind of... Led to another. Led one thing to another. Was this a one-time sexual contact? 
or have you been together more than once? It's been more than once, but... <laughs> That's even worse. How often have you had contact? I'd say less than five. Right, less, I was gonna say two five, or three. Yeah. When was the last time you all were together? Um, a month ago? Yeah, it's been about a month. A month for me. I worked so damn hard for this. That makes no, that makes no sense. What did I do all this for? For what? But you suspected that, didn't you? Yeah, I had, I had that gut feeling. My gut feeling's always right. And now your gut feeling has been confirmed? Confirmed. All right, so now that you have this information, yes, it's a hard question, but what are you going to do? Are you going to stay engaged to your fiancé? You all have been together for five years. I don't, I don't even know what to say. I, I, I had to sit, I sit down and think about this one. This is... If... You don't know if you want to go forward. You're saying you want to go forward and try to work through this. Yes. This court provides resources for couples and counseling for couples to move forward together or apart. That's a decision you all will have to make. As you say in this court, please do not cheat yourself out of a chance for a good relationship. Right. Court is adjourned.